So it says exactly 62% of your students in your school are under 17 years old. So what I would recommend, guys, again, when you're just doing this, you know, when you're doing these word problems any single time, especially when you're taking your test, um, Richard, what I, what I expect people, when I went over your test, if you guys remember, even some of these word problems, I just wrote down some of the things. That, it helps break down the problem. So I'll just write down 62% are over 17 years old. OK, all right. In addition, 4% of students are over 18 years old. So I'll just write that down. 4%, I'm sorry, are under. And then this is over 18 years old. Now, is it possible to be under, is it possible to be under 17 and older than 18? No, so those are mutually exclusive events, Tyler. And what we talked about as far as mutually exclusive events, the probability of mutually exclusive of probability of A or B of mutually exclusive events is P over A plus the probability of B. That was the formula that we went through last class period when you have mutually exclusive events. So Daniel, when we're doing this problem, basically what we have is they're asking, what is the probability that a student chosen random is under 17, which would be probability of A, um, or over 18, which would be the probability of B. So all I simply need to do is add 62% plus 4%. So when you're, the main important thing is understanding when you have mutually exclusive events, you're just going to add the two probabilities. Okay? If they're not mutually exclusive, then we would add the two probabilities and subtract the and, if you guys remember that formula as well. So therefore, my probability is 66%. Has a lot of words for something that's pretty simple, right?